hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Donna K Delahaye from the blog useofdelahaye.com and in today's video I'll be reviewing the Fuji film 18 to 55 kit lens and I'll be telling you why as a travel blogger I think this is an amazing little kit lens to add to your Fuji lens lineup in this video I will be showing you stills and some video clips that I've actually shot totally on the Fuji this video is geared towards bloggers someone new to photography or someone new to the Fuji system and they are looking to get their first Fuji body and they are wondering what their first Fuji lens should be if that sounds like you stick around I've owned the Fuji 18 to 55 kit lens for around four years now and I love this little lens 90% of the images on my blog are actually taken on this lens I've really put this lens through its paces I've taken it on numerous destinations with me um, through Europe I've even taking it back with me to Jamaica so I've gotten to get a really extensive use of this lens and seeing what it can do pushing it to its limits so I think I'm very adept in telling you all the things that you can do with this little lens I think that the 18 to 55 kit lens is actually one of the most underrated lens in the Fuji lens lineup with most people opting to get more expensive prime never realizing that this little kit lens is a beast it produces spectacular images and this is uh, one of my favorite favorite um, actual lens to shoot with I it's the only zoom lens I own from Fuji I did own the 10 to 24 at one point but I saw that and I do um, own three additional um, Fuji prime lenses so I have uh, quite a good knowledge of the different lens in Fuji and I still think that this kit lens is spectacular to shoot with so I just want to get something out of the way before we start the video if you are someone who likes very technical gear reviews where someone will ba basically talk maybe about the barrel distortion of a lens where they will pick some people where they take a, a photo of a brick wall a tree trunk zoom in and says oh my god it's sharp in the middle and soft around the edges this tree trunk is the sharpest I've ever seen this is why you should buy that lens this is not that kind of show this is not that kind of review <laughs> I've never actually bought a lens based on the image of a tree trunk what I have bought a lens for is based on the quality of an image it produced. Is it adaptable for my needs? Those are the things that I think trumps anything when you're buying a lens. So if you want more technical reviews, there are tons of them on YouTube. Go and find one. What I will be highlighting regarding this kit lens is the durability, um, the portability, the versatility, the price point and most importantly the image quality of the lens um, and what you can actually do with the lens in regards to still images and like video if you want to also get into video using this lens so if you're interested in that we'll get into it as i've said before the fuji kit lens is an amazing little lens 90 percent of the images on my blog are taken on this lens and um, it's amazing for travel because it covers such a variety of focal lens at the 18 um at the 18 end the wider end it's an equivalent on a full frame of 24 and at the telephoto end it's at 84 on a, a full frame so you're getting the myriad of distances you can capture all the different scenes that you will get when you travel that's why i think it's an amazing little lens to travel with also the body is very durable it's real substantial in your hands for a kit lens um, it's made of metal with some plastic bits like the hood is plastic and some other bits on it are plastic and as you can see it's scuffed around the where my zoom is is scuffed up and where my aperture is is scuffed but this is four years of wear and tear of battering of being chucked in bags and just dragged around and um, so I've really pushed this lens to its limit and it's still after four years of steady use is sharp as hell all the dial still works like you have um, the aperture is still tacked like that's one thing I like about this this lens is still tactile I can control all my uh, all my focal points I can control my aperture um, I have my hair I hopefully you guys see I have my image stabilization button my aperture button everything still works after four years of like consistent persistent use of this lens I'm shooting on the Sony 6400 using their kit lens and I've also owned the Canon M100 using their kit lens and so I think I have a good like knowledge of kit lens 
from different brands and cameras from different brands it's it's head and shoulders above those two kit lens um, I'm telling you guys another thing is that the kit lens for Fuji is a full stop um, faster than the, the Sony kit lens I have this aperture is 2.8 and for me that is one of the winning things that when I was looking for a lens um, I was looking at I wanted a aperture that opens as wide as possible because when I am traveling I cannot control the elements I cannot control the if it's good light or bad light I just have to work with what God gives me and I wanted a lens that could let allow a lot of light in so I was really looking for a lens with a two-point aperture or down that wasn't gonna cost me a stacks of cash like like I ain't got money like that so I was like oh like I wanted the best quality for the budget I had and this really delivered so the two-point aperture makes it actually great for low light situations um, especially in the evening time if you're in a dimly lit restaurant if the Sun is going down the two-point aperture really delivers on that you actually get that bokeh or blurry background that a lot of bloggers like especially lifestyle bloggers um without breaking again without the breaking the bank and going for an expensive prime it actually allows you to separate your subject from the background from the destination this is particularly helpful when you're shooting like lifestyle bloggers it's really great for that obviously it won't give you the kind of premium bokeh um, or bokeh or blurriness that you will get from a 1.2 1.4 prime lens but it's just enough to give you that step up an additional thing is that this lens is image stabilized so when I was lo looking for a lens I knew I wanted to do a bit of video because I was I wanted to start my youtube channel and I knew that um, you had to have a lens that image stabilized because I didn't want to buy a gimbal or any additional things that I didn't need to like weigh myself down I just wanted a lens that I could quickly get some really nice b-roll shots of and had image stabilization so my footage wouldn't look shaky and the thing that I learned that you don't need a gimbal to get really steady shots with this lens all I used to do is put my lens on have my straps really taut and then I would just gently pan 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 and I, that would give me smooth like super smooth shots like I had a gimbal and with the image stabilization in the lens and the 2.8 aperture I have to say it does give you really nice videos especially with that 2.8 aperture when you want to um, blur things out of focus to give your video a more cinematic feel like all these fancy big-time photography youtubers sharpness so sharpness is one of the things that I really love about this little kit lens it's basically it basically produces super sharp super detailed images that when people come to my blog and see the images that I have there and they ask me what I shoot on and I tell them oh the 18 to 55 kit lens they are incredibly surprised because the quality and the sharpness and the detail in the image that you get for this kit lens you would not expect it for a kit lens to be honest and I do find that the sweet spot where like you you no matter what you're gonna get some tack sharp images is between aperture 5 and 8 that range like you will hit the images will come out really beautiful no matter the situation another thing that I think really goes unnoticed with this lens is that it's so small like it's super portable it basically fits into my the palm of my hand and as a girl I find this really good <laughs> because it's light it's easy to carry around the zoom ring is like it when it zooms out it zooms out like that and I've, I've been able to get into events and um, venues because lots of the time they just ask me to zoom out I zoom out like that and they're like yeah oh my god it's so cute go on through go on through and they like allow me to get into these events that if you're a professional photographer you would have to pay you would have to get permission also I find that the kit lens because it's so small like everything is on here it's so small that it's very unassuming people never stop me and say oh why, why are you taking photos of that they, they don't assume that you're a professional or anything like that so no one pays you mind people just go on about their business I can go out full day and shoot with this um, on my body I have an XT2 body and I don't feel like weighed down. I don't feel like, oh my God, you know, sometimes you're bringing those heavy camera rides. You think my back is hurting me. I can be out from maybe half eight in the morning till 10 at night. And you will have to be shooting, catching, getting videos and on your feet the whole time. That's why I like my gear to be so light because I know if you're doing a long day like that or shooting, being out, um, 
going around with maybe someone from a tourism board you can get back problems you can feel you can feel tired quickly and when my gear is so small so compact I can shoot for hours like I can go one of the downs about this lens or one of the negatives about this lens is that it's not weather resistant so like if it's torrential rain I would not have this outside but like I've had this lens in like a bit of drizzle you can just do the best you can in protecting your lens by covering it with a scarf or inside your jacket so that's one thing to take note is that this lens is not weather resistant money 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 price so one of that was a deciding factor for me because my budget was set up at 1500 to 2000 and the 2000 was my max i think at the time i got my xt2 body and my kit lens together for around 1700 and pounds and that like that had everything I wanted this um, kit lens normally comes with even the XC3 and I think it's going to be coming with the XC2 as well so you can get a good premium prime body um, and quality lit kit lens for a reasonable price if you are someone who already has your body and you're just looking up to pick up your lens fresh out the box brand new it's like 719 pounds at the time of recording however you can pick up this lens second hand you can get it on amazon if you're in the uk i'm based in london you can get it on wix you can get it on jessips um a, like a camera store if you're in the us i know they have a bnh um photo store or photoshop another place that i think a lot of people especially if you're in the uk that you really go and search on is um london camera exchange i think they give the best like second hand discounted lenses because i've bought basically all my primary lens that I had or from them and they are secondhand and I think they're one of the really good options to go if you're based in the UK because on their on their website I think the the kit lens is around 200 and something pound <clears throat> and it tells you the grade so it gives stars and it will give like if it's nine plus if it's nine minus um, you can even call up and ask them does this lens come with a box does it come with the manual and they give you six months warranty so when I'm like trying to get lens on second hand they are one of the websites that I always go to I know that Fuji has brought up new a new lens the 16 to 80 however for me the only downside of that lens even though it covers such a wide spectrum the only downside is that the aperture is four and i'm like oh if it was 2.8 man you would have sold me on it you would have sold me i hope you guys found this um, video and the review of the 18 to 55 kit lens from fuji really helpful i hope it helped you made a, a very rational um decision about whether to get this kit lens and if you would incorporate this lens into your fuji lens lineup because i think it's a really amazing lens so those are the things that i love about the kit lens i'll just go over them briefly the stabilization the aperture which is 2.8 is fabulous and gives you a nice bokeh or blur blurry background if you're going for that look you can shoot videos on stills on it it's premium built it really weathers lots of usage and it's affordable especially if you're getting into photography and you're trying to get assistance it is affordable lens to get and um, that doesn't break the bank but you're getting professional level quality so if you like this review guys please give my um, video a thumbs up if you thought it brought any value to your research or about getting a kit lens give this um, video a like I will be making more Fuji review videos as well as my travel videos you can go check that out and if you like what you saw stick around and subscribe to my channel thanks guys have a nice day <laughs>